Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here again to show you guys another tutorial on how to use the I Own It app. So when you open the app up, you'll go directly to the wall. You can check the wall out. You'll see what people are saying, what's going on, network, all of the above. I go to the top left corner, hit the three lines right there that'll bring up your menu, give you the breakdown. So let's go to agreements. And today we're going to talk about the photo slash video agreement. So let's click on that. So you click on that, it opens up, and then you have the video slash photo ownership agreement, and it gives you a brief description of the breakdown of what the document is for. You can always put extra notes down into the document, but we'll get to that point. Okay, so let's go here. Let's put in a date, 6, 17, 17, uh, the work performed. If I'm getting photos done, then let's go with photos. Uh, same thing with videos. If you're getting a video done, you can put videos right there. So let's click on the client. So let's put in uh, John Doe is the client's name. John Doe. And then uh, his alias is JDR. So let's go with JDR. And then let's put in his email, JDR at gmail.com. And then his phone number, 777. 9311. Okay, easy. And then the photographer or the videographer's name. So the videographer or the photographer's name is Tim Brown. And uh, his photography business may be Tim Brown Photos. Okay. Put in his email address, tb at gmail.com. Obviously, I'm just making up this email, but you get the gist of it. His phone number, 777-9311. Okay, John is going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and put in some notes right here. Uh, John is going to do 10 photos. He's going to edit five of them. And I'm paying him $50. Super easy, super simple. You can always add more notes. We did it at a so-and-so studio or we were outside or, you know, whatever the case may be. Make sure to put in a confirmation email. That's the most important part because you want to be able to track what you're doing. So you have to put in a, a good email. And uh, once you do that, you put in the email on the email for confirmation. Then you hit submit. Goes through. And there you go. So you get a thank you from the app within the app right there. And from this point, it shoots over to your email. That way you can document and keep up with everything. Okay, guys, here we go. Go to your email. And as you can see, you got an email from I Own It. You click on that. And it opens up. Basic breakdown, I own it. You receive a message for your video slash photo ownership agreement. It gives a brief breakdown of the uh, plans through the app itself, blah, blah, blah. So you scroll down from there, and then you have the document that you created once again. The date, uh, you're getting photos done. So if it was video, you put that there, obviously. The client, his name, his uh, alias, his information, obviously. The videographer or photographer right there his information, contact info, and the notes on what you're getting done. This is super duper important stuff. Uh, if you want to keep up with what you're doing, you know what I mean? If you want to be professional and just keep track of what you're doing, this is the best app to do it on the market, hands down. So you put the notes there, super basic, put in email confirmation, and that's the email that the document comes to, which is what we're looking at now. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you see the PDF, you click on that, Email opens, I mean, the doc PDF opens up. There you go. It has a basic breakdown, the same as it is in the email. This you can share, you can print out, you can uh, do whatever it is that you want to do. This is the best thing to do when it comes to tracking what you're doing on the fly under five minutes, hell, under two minutes, realistically, if you get good and you get fast. Super easy, super simple. Once again, this is I Own It. Back at you again with another breakdown tutorial on how to use the app for videos and photo ownership agreements. Thanks again, guys. Peace.